Hi everybody, it's Apple and Spiritual, another reading. So this is gonna be a random cup for everyone. So let's find out what's going on for you. Thank you for being here. I love you guys beyond this world. And you already know that. And if you don't know that, you know that right now today. All right? Because I'm giving you a big effing hug right now and a big high five right here. All right, so let's find out what's going on for you, for all of us. Remember, this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest for somebody else, okay? And if you need anything, you could check the description box. All right, baby. Oh, we got Chinese Ear of the Rat right away. Oh, shit. This could be someone that is blocking you from something, or this is somebody that wants to talk to you. I have to see. Hold on. Chinese Ear of the Rat. Letter M, letter B, and letter... N here. N, M, and B. We also have Chinese Year of the Horse as well. So Capricorn and Cancer. So the axes here. Ooh, this is karmic here. This is faded and destined moment in time here. So here's the cup. For some reason, I heard salad spinner. So there is a wind chime here. There's a wind chime and it's blowing in the wind. It's making noises. It's telling me that change is coming. There's change, there's peace coming to you. Happiness here. Chinese ear of the dog, Chinese ear of the rabbit. Love, there's love here. Aries and Scorpio. There's oneness, there's wholeness here. We also have a heart locket here, like literally a heart locket. And in the locket, there's a sprout growing out of it. So this could have been your heart that was closed or locked up. And now you're starting to feel love again and it's growing here. Like you, you didn't lose hope in your heart. Hmm. Letter U, letter F, letter C, and letter G is here. You have a number three here, you see it? So three days, three weeks, three months. You also have number 16 here. And you also have fat here. Look, look. It spells fat. Can you see it? F-A-T. Maybe if I don't put the thing. It says it right here. It's kind of foggy. You see it? Look. F-A-T. Number three. C-4. There's a beehive here. And the bees are coming and they're attacking people here. We have the queen of swords we, we have some guy here that his arms are up. He's getting stung. So this Queen of Swords <clears throat> is getting stung, but not really. Because she unleashed this beehive on this person, this guy. Wow, letter M and number one. They have Capricorn placements, or this is you. Chinese Year of the Rat. One day, one week, one month. Oh, this person's going to get really effed up. They... I'm hearing you despise them. They despised you type of thing. This person did something very bad to you and you're about to hurt them. And like spirit, it's not even you doing it. It's like spirit. It's like they're getting their karma, but it's going to be so painful for what they did to you beyond. You have Chinese ear of the snake here and you're going to be healing from this. You're going to feel so good because you're going to hear that this person got their karma for real. Like you left it in the universe's hand. Look at the look at this beehive and this person getting stung. And you're right here. The Queen of Swords. Like you could see that in there. Look. See that shit? Yeah. They're effed. Wow, look, it says up here. U P. You see it? Up. And it's very important because there's little dashes here. Something about looking up. Yeah, things are going to start looking up. We have uh, 21 here. Look, 21. Wow, is this like not clear? So the 21st could be significant. Or maybe you're 21 years old or 21 days from now. Chinese year of the ox, Chinese year of the rat, Chinese year of the tiger. Aquarius, Capricorn, and... Pisces here. Things are looking up now. You have 69 here. We also have 715. 
Chinese ear of the ox. We have letter R here, letter I. 222 two, two is here, and letter F, letter K, letter X. It's all over here. And, and we, this is what I'm saying. This is all clear because you're looking up. You're staying positive here, and you're about to be rewarded, I'm telling you. This is like bizarre, like beyond. That spirit wrote this on here. This is like another level here. 51 is here. Yeah, we have 28. Look at all these numbers. You see this? 28. We also have number four here. Hmm. The 28th could be significant. Letter E. This is like a big rooster here. Chinese year of the rooster. Libra. Libra season, Libra energy. Balance, focus. This has to do with your relationships, your love life, spirituality. 1553. MI. Chinese year of the dog, letter B. I'm hearing, do not be tempted to lower your standards. I want to just see really quick what what's this rooster about what the hell is this oh it's an announcement it could be coming in the morning it could be coming from a fire sign hmm. oh this is something that you've been holding out for defending yourself for this new beginning it's something about yeah this is like a big wake-up call here with this rooster yeah it's something where you have to get out of your comfort zone you have to take a risk take a leap of faith yeah, and this leap of faith is helping you. Yeah, look at this. Look, you have to leave a comfort zone. And you will. And you are right now. You've been fighting it, but you are. But it's part of your karma, your destiny here. Something with the eclipse. Oh, yeah, this is big. This is really big here. Beyond. Letter J. Oplicus. Oplicus. Optical. Oplicus. What does that mean? Like optical, like your eyes, like your your eyes are. It's like an optical illusion of something. Maybe you just been seeing illusions, like you you haven't been seeing the truth, but now you are, and it's gonna change everything. Here, look at all these numbers. I feel like this is like timelines here of when this happened, and you have two eyes here that um. They're like watching this. There could have been someone watching you like these timelines here. Because this is not evil. We have an X. We have 32. Wow, that's weird. It's 32 twice. 32, 32, 24. So maybe someone's been watching you since this time frame of your age. Yeah, look, they've literally been watching you. And look at look at all these question marks. Look, question, question, what to do, what to do here. Wow, there's a lot of questions here. There's also a little paw print. So it could be your pet helping you out with this. Maybe this is a pet that passed on. And it's your spirit guide here. It's helping you. Something with the new moon. Wow. It's It's coming here. The new moon's on the second. There's something here. You could be having a dream and your pet's going to be in there in spirit helping you with something here. It's t it's two questions here. Two questions. Hmm. Two questions? It's about the Scorpio. It's definitely a Scorpio here. So you have two questions about a Scorpio person that maybe is coming from the past or that you ended something with. Or it could be a water sign, but this is definitely Scorpio. I mean, is this not clear as day? What's the other question? Okay, hold on. It's it's about a new beginning. It could be a new job or money coming to you that you've been waiting for. You've been fighting for here, but it's all in divine timing. It's coming. It's definitely coming. Nine September, nine days, nine weeks. Some of you nine months or you waited nine months for this. It could almost take a year. Or next year. 
are in these signs. So we have uh, Leo season, Aquarius. Well, no, this would be Taurus, Aquarius, and uh, Scorpio. Scorpio, Aquarius. Maybe these times is when this money is going to come to you or this opportunity that's that you've been fighting for. Like, you literally have not given up. Yeah, you're getting offered something big here. That's your two questions. Wow, it's very interesting, right? How it's so clear. Very clear here. 3IP35. Someone's um, holding on to this cliff and they're about to let go. Letter K, letter J, 77 and 27's here. It's like they're holding on like this but they're about to let go. This could be someone that's holding on to you or you're holding on to a situation, but we already saw that you're letting it go. You know what I mean? Why are they holding on to the cliff? Why are they holding on to the cliff? Oh, it's this person. It's the it's the person that's about to give, give you this opportunity and it's going to make you unstuck. Or maybe it's going to be unclear at first. Or this is your your feelings right now is you feel trapped, stuck, and you're waiting for this this uh this opportunity to come to you and this literally is something that's going to set you free yeah it's money bro this is beyond and you're like holding on yeah look at this again it comes out you've been fighting for this you've been holding on and it's about to happen so don't give up you're almost there you're so close yeah you're so close this is what's there keep holding on don't let go of that cliff bro because it's about to happen taurus it's, it's part of your spiritual awakening here. It's part of your spiritual path. It's part of your karma. This is what you've been fighting for and you're about to receive it. Maybe in like a week from now, a day from now, and some of you even a month. A lot of you could have had to wait a year for this. And everything that you've been wanting and waiting for and fighting for, you will have by a year from now. And I know that seems long, but that's for some of you. Wow, this is beautiful. This is a beautiful cup. Wow, this is uh, strange. Oh yeah, you definitely have money coming in because it went on the table. Hold on a second. This, what does this say? Jupiter. It's Jupiter and Chiron. Jupiter and Chiron. This is what's been affecting you here. Letter T. There's a peacock here. Your ego and pride, letter R. Chinese year of the rat, Capricorn. This is a long journey like the Ten of Wands here. But it's, it's, you're letting it go. There's a big journey here. Big journey. You're going to be traveling somewhere very soon. Very soon. Maybe in the next 10 days, 10 weeks, or um, October. Traveling, it's a, it's a journey that's destined for you. It's faded. It's so faded. We have 37. A lot of abundance here. You have the tulip here, never giving up. And you have so much passion coming toward you. You have 33 here. Ooh. Sexy AF. 20. And, and the question here is connected to this passion. It's connected to a spiritual um, connection to someone. It's like spiritual connection. It's going to change your life. Whoa, hold up. And look who came out, the turkey. Chinese ear of the rooster. Someone's behaving stupidly. Mm. What is that? New home, new attitude. Maybe you have an attitude or someone has an attitude because they got a new home or something. I don't know, unsuccessful plans. And maybe this person's plans didn't go their way because they were being an asshole and karma got them. Nest, an emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. Maybe this person had it all and they were, you know how people are mean to other people and, and they say, oh, I have this and you don't, ha, 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 ha. Well, this person is about to get their karma. Yeah, look, a journey, either physical or mental. That's what I saw on the plate. The carriage. Yeah, goldfish. Increase in material wealth and spiritual growth through some. Yeah, look at this new home, new attitude. 
this is because of something that was unsuccessful. And maybe you were behaving stupidly in a situation or somebody else in your family or something here. Pisces, yeah, birth or conception of a child or enterprise. Something in your work, which we saw, is going to bring you major money and blessings here. Yeah, and it was a long journey here with the elephant. Either physical or mental will leave you wiser in the end. And you have a, a journey, either physical or mental. You're definitely traveling somewhere, I told you. It could be on a long journey of self-discovery. Or literally, you're going far away and you're taking a long time. You'll be taken care of in difficult times with the staff here. That's what you need to know. And I guess we'll get one of my homemade cards and close this out. What do you guys think? Oh, okay. Right away. Love you. Listening to your intuition. Look at this. Chinese year of the rooster. 10 is the number of this cup, baby. Right here. Libra season. This is big. Finding out things coming to light. Secret secrets are no fun unless you share with everyone. High priestess energy. Oh, yeah. You're going to know. About a false person, fake soulmate, fake friend, fake twin flame, someone that was breadcrumbing you, ghosting you. You're going to be moving on from this. Take a step back. You're going to be taking a step back from this. And you're going to feel like, yeah, there's no support from others, but you will have support from others. I'm telling you right now, you will. And especially if you're, if you're starting some new hobby or something, maybe people aren't going to support you, but you should do it anyways. Number five. The fifth of the month could be significant. Taurus, Chinese year of the dragon. Enjoying life to the fullest. Being creative, learning something new, scrapbooking, photos, online business, colorful, looking good and feeling good. New health routine, glow up, change in the wind, baby. This is what I like to see. Yeah, look at this space. Darkness, unknown, musician, artist, get out of your head. Going beyond. Someone that is at a distance. The future is unknown. Surprise, you're not meant to know everything. 3D to the 5D. Connecting to spirit. Success with effort. All right? Spirit's got your back. I got your back because I love you guys and you guys have my back. And we're a family on here. And this is all good shit. I love this. Beyond. Let's close it out with a dragon cookie. This is, this is great. Comment down below. Let me know how you feel about this travel yeah you're definitely going somewhere beyond here long distance yeah look at this it's again long distance communication will open up your life exciting experiences for singles and career advancements for others wow all right wisdom yeah and you gained a lot of wisdom from this to focus on the past is to lose the future Heat advice from an older person, which will allow you to move on. Yeah, and you will. And you will move on and you will feel better. I promise you. Time heals all. So don't worry. Everything's great. You're here. Take every day as a blessing because you're here. You're here. And every day is a gift, right? That's why they call it the present, right? Isn't, haven't you heard that before? So never forget that. Always make every day count. All right? I love you guys. Yeah, that's it. Like, share, and subscribe if you like what I do. I appreciate you. And I'll see you in the next one. Namaste. Love and light.